Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. Okay, I want to talk about unions, communists, and the government. I'm sure I'm going to piss some people off. And uh, I don't mind uh, constructive criticism. So if you want to make some comments explaining how I am wrong on my reasoning, feel free. Feel free to write down there. And uh, I, I would love to, uh, I'd love it if you could point out my faults when it comes to thinking the way I'm thinking. Okay, I told you a story. I made a video. The link is down below. Uh, a story about when I'm coming down the road, I'm, I live here in Guatemala, and uh, the road was blocked, and I took this other road, and, and I had to deal with what I took it as bandits of some type. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, uh, so, I, I explained the story. Now, uh, after I got where I'm, where I'm, where I'm, where I'm live at, uh, I found some people that could speak English, and I was telling them what happened to me, because I was thoroughly amazed. I, I just, uh, I've never, I've never had this situation happen before, not like that. Uh, and so, what they explained to me was. Uh, the people that I, well, the roadblock that stopped all the traffic was uh, union sponsored. And uh, so they, what they did, now uh, this real mountainous area, uh, they used the roads as a lifeline to get supplies around. Uh, and what they did is they stopped the roads. Uh, they did it yesterday and I guess they're doing it again today, stopping these roads. And uh, uh, the, uh, it's union, it's union people. Now what they do, and it's our, our union, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, field workers. Field workers is what it is. And uh, what they do uh, the union, uh, one thing, the union is trying to unionize all of the field workers. And not all of them want to, and some of them do, you know, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to debate any of that kind of stuff. That's not the point. Uh, but what they did do is they went around to these uh, farms. And now, see, now, they got this food, and when it's unable to be delivered, it loses its freshness and it turns into garbage. So uh, it needs to be picked and sent out as soon as possible. And what they've done is slowed, slowed the system down. So they put, um, uh, let's see, what do you call it, a financial burden on the producers. Now, now you already know, <laughs> I hate big business. And uh, some of them are big business. And uh, so I really don't care about their, their financials, but, uh, uh, but that's not the point again. Uh, the thing is, these unions are trying to get all of the workers into their union. And when they do that, then they can tell the businesses uh, big business, small business, they can tell them how they're going to work their businesses. And uh, that's kind of like uh, when, you, when you work for a union, you can do this particular stuff, but you can't do that. Like, uh, now, I don't know. I'm not in it, but an example would be, I'm just using my imagination, you're a truck driver or a union man. Uh, you just drive the truck, and that's it. You don't unload the truck. You don't disconnect the truck. Uh, you just drive it from point A to point B. Uh, you do like the union tells you to do. And uh, uh, they, 
when they do it like that, you're, in other words, you're really working for the union and you pay your union dues and all this stuff. So, and now the ones in the union that run the union, they want as many people in the union as possible because they get more dues. And the more dues they make, the more money they make. And we've learned that from uh, American history. Uh, the more money they make, the more corruption is in the union. And they just keep taking the money and, and it's, it's they do weird and crazy things with their money. And uh, uh, it's, so, in other words, the unions is what made the roadblock. Okay, so now that stopped the traffic. Now, now so what does that have to do with me? Okay, I mentioned there was about 20 at the bottom of the hill when I had to deal with them. And the thing that was really odd was the one of them that was doing the talking was a woman. Now, this culture doesn't recognize women. Uh, they're a second class citizen. So they have, they don't get no respect, no nothing. This woman had respect. That's kind of odd. Uh, now, as I think about it, I would say she was probably either working for the union or she was high up in the, the union process. And so, because the, the men there listened to her. Uh, it's like she was the boss. Now, if this was uh, just a few people getting together, let's see if we can make some money from from the people that are driving through, and that's kind of what I thought it was, you know, opportunists. You know, after a disaster or something, people, you know, like a looter, they would be taking advantage of the opportunities. And that's kind of like I thought at first, and I really thought about that, but the more I kept thinking, a woman telling all these guys what to do, and I say there's about 20 of them, and so, you know, I don't know about you, but, I think it would be hard to come up, I couldn't find 20 people to, let's all get together and we're going to victimize everybody that's driving through here. Uh, now maybe your friends are different than mine, but um, victimizing people isn't something we're all going to get together. Oh, I can't wait till we can get together and go victimize everybody. So um, I thought that was kind of odd. Uh, so in other words, they had some kind of um, organization, especially if they're going to listen to the woman. And then uh, when I got up to the, uh, when I went up the mountain, and then after I got up the mountain, and then when, uh, now this is for 25 of their money, and that equals uh, $3. Okay, now... So I get up there, and now they want money. They stop me. They do all this stuff. And then we get to the point where they show force. I mean, chest puff up, you know, holding the machetes. You know, uh, uh, the vocal isn't, because uh, this is English now. So, I mean, it's not like he's, hey, you know, we're hungry. Can you give us some money? It was, give us money. So, uh, in other words, uh, they're doing this for financial gain. And they are organized. Right back, the same thing. Could I get 20 of my friends together? And we're going to go over here and we're just going to take three dollars from each car that comes? I don't think so. Um, you know, there's, there's something going on here. And that's more that's making me think they're organized also. They knew what they were going to do. Intimidation. Now, this made me think of when I watched the news in the United States. And you see these union people when they get on strike and then uh, 
they're out with there. I understand you're holding your poster and you're going around. I understand that. But then you see them using violence, intimidation against other people. Uh, they're doing this with the intent of uh, money, uh, financial gain. I mean, these people have, uh, they make good wages. They want to keep their good wages. Uh, they've got a good retirement. They want to keep their retirement. Their retirement and their wages are better than yours, and they want to keep it like that. They're in this exclusive club, and they have financial gain out of whatever that they're doing. Whether it's their job, member, they restrict the work that they're going to do. Uh, they, um, I say, they're, they're going to come over here and intimidate people. I mean, if it wasn't for the union and them being called out, I mean, on their weekends, their time off, do these guys all, let's go down to the bar, get a few drinks, and then we'll go over there and intimidate a few people. Do you think this is what these people do? They don't. I don't believe they do. I might be wrong, but I don't believe these people act like that. But they do when they're working for the union. That's, they got certain union obligations. Uh, myself, personally, I never liked unions because they held me back. They only said I could only do so much. I like to learn. I like to do things. So that's why unions never appealed to me. And, you know, me, I'm not real good at following rules. And I sure don't like anybody with authority over me. So union describes a lot of stuff that doesn't fit well in my lifestyle. Okay, so, uh, so this is how unions work. They use intimidation, not only in fear, like my car, but they use intimidation for the companies that their workers work for, that they're going to do this. And what was funny, after all of this, I'm understanding all this, and then I find out, well, this is what I was told, and then I had somebody else said, oh, well, no. These union workers that are putting up this, stopping the block, what they're doing is they're protesting uh, Monsanto, because Monsanto is down here now. And that's what they're doing, pro protesting Monsanto. Okay, uh, what that is, is propaganda and misdirection. Even if it was the truth, that is the way that you would handle something like that. Okay. That's the same like uh, uh, when we go to war, when the United States goes to war with somebody, we will come up with all these bad things about it. Oh, he's got, he got ten wives, uh, he, he's a pervert, uh, he gasses his people. Uh, you know, I mean, they, 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 come up, they, they go on personal attacks and they start saying bad things about people. And that's supposed to get everybody excited, so we're ready to go to war. Okay, that's what they're doing with the Monsanto. They're using Monsanto is a bad, evil thing, and that's why they're, they're doing the, the roadblocks and stuff like that. But like I say, they stop a lot of people from getting work. They stop people from making the incomes. They, they stop a lot of stuff. So uh, it doesn't work quite like what they were saying. Now, that falls in to uh, the... Uh, let's see, was it uh, communist? Uh, this is real close. Uh, now, though, my own experience with communists is Cuba, and um, it's I'm still I'm still amazed how that thing works. And uh, I say that's where I've been. Now I've got family in China, so I know what the communist China is like too, and. Uh, it's a, a lot of uh, control. Uh, communist governments love to control their people. And they do it through regulations, laws, and this type of stuff. Has nothing to do with morals. Has nothing to do with doing the right thing. 
and uh, the, what's happened, even our uh, state governments don't want to make decisions, so they pass it off and let the federal government make these decisions. And it's not the federal government's job to make a lot of these decisions, but our states have been dumping it off on them. The same as the local. Our, our local uh, uh, government has been dumping off stuff to the state level, so they don't have to deal with this stuff. And uh, even our federal government doesn't want to deal with it. That's where they come up with Agenda 21. Uh, they're using outside sources to make the rules and stuff like that to control us as Americans. So, uh, uh, so they want all this regulations that we can get involved in there uh, with the government. So, uh, and the, so the government and communists, they work together. And you look... Uh, I say I understand I'm old, and I remember the United States without all the regulations. I remember the United States when it was morals that dictated how we ran our country, and we had morally strong uh, individuals that were elected to office. Uh, now, uh, morally strong, I. I I, you know, and I'm not even saying that on the political, because the political, we already know they have no morals. We know that. Uh, but it's not just that. They are a reflection of the people. Uh, a lot of the people in the United States don't have any morals, or at least they push their morals to the side and choose not to use them. That's another reason why I make my videos for that 3%, because the moral, your moral responsibility is to take responsibility for yourself. Your uh, moral obligation is to your family and to your friends and even to a bigger degree to your local community. That's where I came up with the three-man militia concept is because that way you can stand firm at least at the very minimum of taking care of your family. And just a little more effort, you can take care of your friends. And if your family and your friends have control of yourselves and you have good morals, you can do a lot of good things for your local community. I think it's too late for the states, I know it's too late for our federal government. Our country, in, in my view, has, it's gone to holy hell. Uh, between the uh, regulations, the people working at it, and you hear me talk about the bureaucrats, government employees, they think they are above us. They make more money than we do. They don't even use the same retirement. Uh, the, even, I think, the the... Uh, health care. They even do a different health care. I mean, these people, it, that's all signs of corruption. I mean, our government, federal and state, and even our locals are really corrupt. The best we can do is take care of ourselves, our families, our friends, and maybe our local community. But it's going to take effort. Now, before you start putting on your, your criticism on these comments down here, I want you to give serious consideration about coming down here. You come here. Look me in the eye and show me how I'm wrong. Like I said, this, this third world country, Guatemala, is so screwed up, but it's no different than the United States. It's just more obvious here. It's obvious. In the United States, everybody stays in debt. Uh, we've got so much propaganda going on, you can't get the truth of what's going on. Uh, we get people in uh, uh, elected positions and we can't get them out. Look at the Bushes, look at the Clintons. We can't get rid of the corruption. They have the same problem down here. At least they're honest about it down here. Everybody knows how bad it is. So when you want to give me some crap, 
think about coming down here. Spend a little time with me, explain to me, and show me how I am wrong about what I see. And I'll tell you, a lot of it I can relate to the United States. We have serious problems, not only in the United States, but uh, all through all the countries I've been to. It's really bad. Like I say, I just came back from Belize. Belize, I could not believe how corrupt it was. Belize, you're, you're either, you're either going to work for the government or you work for a union. They're awful, and the union and communism are close to the same. When your unions get so big, they start telling so many people what to do, it, it is communism, because they're going to be working with the government, especially when the unions work with the government. And what happened in the United States? Uh, Obama bailed out uh, General Motors, the union, for the votes. Everybody's got to uh, tell you, there's so much corruption. It's right there in your face. Open your eyes and see it. Have the nerve to look. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.